So a lot of you have been asking me, how is ENT as a profession? Uh, do we grow? Do we earn money? Do we do well? Well, as an ENT surgeon, I can tell you that there are some perks, but there are also some drawbacks. Some perks to start off with. Uh, ENT allows you to learn three things, ear, nose, oral cavity, and throat. It also allows you to encroach everywhere around. Uh, and I sometimes call ENT as the cancer of medicine because you can do orbital stuff, you can do uh, you know thyroid surgeries, head and neck stuff, you can also do gastric pull-up surgery and enter gastroenterology, you can go endoscopic skull base. Uh, so basically anywhere all around, even maxillofacial, plastic, sometimes even some dental work. So it really, it's right in the middle of uh, everywhere that you can be. Uh, also, it gives you uh, an option to be uh, surgical and non-surgical. It also allows you to do uh, certain super specialities. You can do facial plastics as a super specialty. You can do head and neck onco surgery. You can also do neurosurgery now. In surgeries, it allows you to do different kinds of surgeries. It allows you to do open head and neck surgeries, allows you to do endoscopy, allows you to do microscopy. And if you don't like surgery and none of these types work for you, you can be a non-surgical ENT, like uh, you can be an allergy specialist, you can be a vertigo specialist, you can be a voice specialist, or you can go entirely into hearing and hearing care, like with cochlear implants and audiology and uh, all of that. Um, if that uh, doesn't work for you, then uh, ENT also allows you a lot of administrative opportunities. Our ex-health minister, Union Minister of Health was ENT. Our head of NBE is ENT. So ENTs largely are even cancerous roles outside uh, the domain. Um, in terms of earnings, well, yeah, when you start off, uh, there's not much that you earn. Uh, I remember I used to earn 14 to 15,000 rupees uh, during my post-graduation and I believe in most parts, it is about 40, 50,000, maybe Delhi, it's 80,000 rupees. But once you start becoming a private practitioner, uh, your scope of earning can be anywhere between two to five lakhs. And your surgical fee can range anywhere from three to 5,000 per surgery, all the way to 25 to 30,000 rupees per surgery. How many you do is up to your skills. If you are in the government practice, you could get a stable salary from one and a half lakhs to three lakh rupees, uh, depending upon how senior you are. Uh, so nonetheless, I should say that uh, ENTs are uh, entertaining as proven by me and also enterprising and entrepreneurial. Uh, so with that guys, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, some drawbacks, uh, it's an extremely competitive, cutting edge, uh, cutthroat, literally uh, field and uh, many of them are concentrated in metros. It's very hard uh, for you to establish uh, yourself. But I think now with uh, modernization, things are improving, uh, you know, even in the periphery. So do look at those opportunities and I am about to also bring ENT into home care. Uh, so with that, I think these drawbacks should also go away. But with that, guys, I don't let, uh, want you to discourage or, or I don't want to discourage you from trying this out. Uh, go for it or whichever field you love, that's what you should take. Take care. Bye-bye.